Hello everyone, Bentley Kay here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a Hot Flesh and Wrinkles Makeup Monday video. And today we are testing out this powder. It's a compact. This is a powder foundation. It's a compact. And my color is natural. This is the Aqua Assurance powder foundation from JCAP Beauty. Um, it retails for $13.99 at Ulta and it comes in 13 shades and this is what they claim. Find your perfect JCAP Beauty Aqua Assurance Foundation shade. JCAP Beauty Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation contains finely milled formula that minimizes the appearance of pores. This innovative hydrating powder is non-clogging that absorbent and balances excess oil. I think it's supposed to be absorbs. Non-clogging that absorbs and balances excess oil without looking cakey. The compact has a water lock system to maintain moisture within the powder, which can't be found in an average compact. It blends effortlessly effortlessly providing medium to full coverage for flawless finish. The sponge is antibacterial and delivers airbrush effect for a flawless finish. So that's what they have to say about it. Medium to full coverage. So if you want to see what I think of this powder foundation, just stay tuned. Okay guys, let's get started. So we're going to use our Assurance, I know I've already opened this, and my color is natural, and this one's supposed to have really great coverage, and I am going to be using a damp sponge, but, oh, first, first we're going to do our concealer, because this is a powder, so we're going to start with our Jeffree Star concealer, and we're going to set this before we go in with our powder. Still got that red spot. Takes forever to go away. Wet and Wild Sponge. Just gonna blend that out. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Essence Brighten Up Powder, Banana Powder, and just set that concealer. Okay, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I had already primed my face with my Milky Mist from Pixi, my Milk Cosmetics Hydro Grip, and just a little bit of the e.l.f. Putty Primer under my eyes and right here on my chin and a little tiny bit right there on that wrinkle. Okay, now we're going to go in with, I'm going to use my dampened sponge rather than the sponge that comes with this. And like I said, look how dark that is. But, you know, when you're ordering online, yep, it's kind of dark. You do the best you can. It'll be fine though, right? It's always fine. Looks very orange though. I don't remember how many lighter shades they had in this because I've had it for a little while. But, obviously, I needed a lighter shade, because I'm going to look pretty orange. <laughs> Hope it doesn't oxidize. It shouldn't oxidize, though, right? Because it's a powder. I may have to go back in a little bit with my Brighten Up powder to lighten it up a little bit. 
got pretty good coverage though. It's just really dark. And yellow, I mean orange. Maybe I can take my powder brush and tone it down a little bit. Because I really don't want to add too much powder to it. It will give you guys a not so accurate idea. It's pretty orange. Sorry guys, I guess I really am not very good at picking shades, but I know that I picked a light shade. I'll have to go back and look. Anyways, we're going to make it work somehow. It looks good except for the color. It's really smooth. Well, I was going to try this new Lumi bronzer from L'Oreal. I'm thinking I don't need any bronzer. Well, we'll try it. Just okay, so <laughs> now that I'm a Oompa Loompa, we're going to go in with some bronzer. See if we can get some dimension going on. And I am using the Lumi Bronze it from L'Oreal. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're probably not even going to be able to see it very much. Because, well, because I'm already there. Maybe the loomy part of it you'll be able to see, though. But you know what? When I used that Make It Forever powder, I didn't really think it was working very well until I put the setting spray on and that was a game changer, I think. So let's do my nose a little bit. Okay, let's go in with our, I'm going to use my Dallas from Benefit blush. See if we can bring some pink back in to this orange face. Yep, it's so orange, so orange. Take my stippling brush and just keep blending. I just look really tan, right? <laughs> just not my neck. All right, we're gonna go in with the Flower Beauty um, highlight. And I am going to use these two together right here. Oh, that's so beautiful. Well, I love the highlight. It is gorgeous. I think that's my new favorite highlight. And I've been using that Tarte Pro Glow strobe forever. And I think this might push it out. At least have to share. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera, finish my makeup, and then I will come back and show you the final look. And then we will check back at the end of the day. Actually, I will come back and show you everything except the spray, because I'm gonna spray it 
so you guys can see just how incredible a difference it makes. Although this looks pretty good. This looks really good. Other than the color, this looks really good. So I'm going to go off camera, finish my makeup, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back. This is the look of the day for our Aquasurance Powder Foundation from JCAT Beauty. And I have not sprayed it, which I put lashes on, so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to spray it now, but it looks good. It looks pretty darn good right now. I don't think it would, I would say it's poreless. But for a powder foundation that you can just throw on and go, it looks good. Ooh, this is empty. I mean, it wasn't empty, but the sprayer wasn't spraying very good because I could feel pretty heavy spots. So I may have to respray with the new can. Oh no, it looks fine. But I know when I put on the Makeup Forever foundation, powder foundation, I am going to spray it again with a new can. Much better. Much, much better. So far it looks really good. It's not sinking into lines. I think I definitely have at least a medium coverage. I have pretty good coverage actually. So, so far so good. We'll see how it lasts, see if it gets cakey or breaks up or anything. So I will be back at the end of the day to check in and let you know how it did on after a few hot flashes on the wrinkles. So I'll be back. Okay guys, I am back. It is the end of the day for our first impressions on the Aqua Assurance by JCAT Beauty. And it is a compact, it is a powder foundation. You guys already know that because you watched the beginning of the video, right? Anyways, this is what it looks like. My color is natural. Looks pretty light there, doesn't it? Well, it doesn't look light on your skin, but it seems to be fine. It worked out fine for me. And it's really nice. It didn't sink into lines. It feels so skin-like. I really like it, except for the color. I would definitely go with a shade lighter. But I would wear this. If this is all I'd have, because I, I have pretty much washed off my tan completely. Because I'm getting ready to try a new tanning thing, so then it might match perfectly. Because it's really not that far off, I don't think. It seemed like it when I was first putting it on, huh? But it looks pretty good, I think. And it looks amazing, actually. But as far as even the color, it looks pretty good. It, it looks like it's a little bit shiny, but I think that's just the setting spray. And to me, the setting spray is what really makes it happen, is putting that setting spray on. I still would go a shade lighter just because it's kind of orangey on me. But it doesn't seem like it, it oxidized or changed. That's what color it was when I put it on, too. So, yeah, I would definitely get a lighter color. And this was the fourth in the, what, they had on Ulta, the color, the shades. This was the fourth one down, so there are lighter shades that I could get, and I think I will. I think I will. But it's online only, so I have to send it back. Actually, I can take it back to the store and then just order a lighter color, and that's what I'll probably do because I want to go with, I mean, look how light that looks. It doesn't look orange in there, but it is. So I want to get one that's got a more neutral tone to it rather than the warmness but I really like it. I really like the way it feels and it, it certainly doesn't feel sticky or movable or anything like that. 
I really like it. I'm giving it a thumbs up for sure. We've had a lot of thumbs up lately. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. And hit that little notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And share this on all your social medias. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah!